Uh, I thought it did all right. Uh, I could have shot the ball better, but uh, I thought there were some really good things on the defensive end. Um, I competed hard, like always. Um, so that was cool. Have you had any other workouts before this one? This is my fourth. I had uh, Philadelphia, Sacramento, and Dallas. Is there something that stands out about this workout that was a little bit different than the others? It's the Lakers. I mean, that's, that's enough said, isn't it? You know, you have Coach Scott here. You know, you see some of the guys working out here. You, you really want to play well. Is there a player currently in the NBA that you might study or pattern your game after right now, or maybe one in the past? Um, well, my favorite player of all time is Allen Iverson. Um, so, you know, I definitely watched a lot of tape on him growing up. Um, right now, I like to watch Chris Paul. I like to watch Dane. Um, you know, just the really good point guards in the league, see how they run the floor, run their team. Um, so, yeah. You mentioned point guard, I think, leader, coach on the floor. What part of your game will best translate to an NBA floor? Uh, I think being able to play out the pick and roll. That's something I did in college really well. Uh, being able to shoot the ball as well as I did. Um, and just being able to be a leader, being able to you know bring positivity and energy to the team. You mentioned the Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. You know Byron says defense, defense, defense. Absolutely. What's your biggest strength defensively? Um, I think just being able to stay in front of guys. My own ball defense, um, being able to get guys to just you know stay on their toes. Um, you know, you can't give good dribblers and good offensive players a lot of space and a lot of time to make decisions. So you want to, you know, force the pressure on them, but, you know, not get beat at the same time. So just being able to learn how to switch it up and, and um, you know, contain. So is AI your favorite sixer also? It is. Six, honestly, you know, no disrespect to the Lakers. Six is my favorite team. I was born in Philly, um, so that's been my team. So how's your dad feel about that if AI is your favorite? Oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know about the Schuylkill Expressway and the road to Allentown? I do. I do. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if I were to ask some of your teammates from last season about you as a teammate, as a player, what would you kind of hope that they would, they would tell us? Um, I think they would say I have great character. You know, I'm the most laid back person. I get along with everybody. Um, but I work extremely hard. Um, you know, you can't be complacent. Um, you know, getting it this far, you know, and making and maintain a career in the league, you have to st stay working because there's always somebody coming after your job. Um, so that's what I try to do and uh, just, just bring positivity everywhere I go. I know you've got a lot of workouts planned up ahead. I do. How is this whole process playing out for you? Is you hanging in there? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, the toughest part, I think, is, you know, sleep, trying to get your sleep schedule down and trying to get in as much rehab as you can. You know, not being at home, um, it's kind of hard. Uh, so, you know, definitely taking advantage of the facilities, you know, that you go to and um, just getting as much rest as possible. Where are some of the other teams you've worked out for and have upcoming? Uh, upcoming, I have, let's see, I have Portland Wednesday, um, Golden State Friday, then Phoenix, Memphis, Utah, Washington, Boston, and Cleveland. Okay. And in the past? I had Philadelphia, Dallas, and then Sacramento. Cool. Going to Sixers, was that it was. One yeah, it was nice. It was nice to go home. I hadn't been home in a long time, so it was nice. For 30 seconds, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You've got a great resource in the uh, great Hershey Hawkins. I don't know about great. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna give him some. I'm gonna give him some props. One of my favorite players back in the day. Has he talked to you about what you need to do in these workouts to be able to impress? the different teams? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, mainly just be myself. You know, I, I think I carry myself pretty well. Um, you know, just being supportive, you know, playing extremely hard and not trying to get out your comfort zone. Um, you know, do things that you do on the court and don't try to, you know, stray away from that. I mean, that, that usually gets you on the not so good end. But um, so, you know, I just come in and I'll be myself. That's really it. Are you primarily, I mean, I look at the numbers. I mean, the 21 points a game about and great shooting numbers. Uh, coming into the NBA, are you a shooting guard and a point guard body or can no, you set up guard. yeah point. I'm a point guard so I mean I played out the pick and roll I have no problem passing the ball you know I didn't take a ton of shots in college um, you know, I believe in taking good shots and knocking them down um, so yeah I'm a point guard what makes you such a good pick and roll that you think you can play in this league I can make reads you know I can make the great pass um, you know I keep my head up and make reads all over the floor no matter where you know where the defender's at uh, and being able to read the defense and uh, just make the right decision do you feel confident that you left it all out here on the floor here in LA or absolutely still more to give no I mean everywhere I go you know you, you can't leave it out there. I think coaches notice that, um, you know, hustling, diving on the floor, you know, and uh, also, you know, being a, a good teammate. You know, you may not know the guys out there, but, you know, it's, it, coaches notice when you do the little intangibles, like picking each other up if they're not playing well. So, you know, I try to do that. Hey, back to Iverson, what did you take away from him? What kind of things did you try to emulate? Just his tenacity. You know, I mean, he was such a, a gritty, grindy player on the court. And, um, you know, the way that he just gave it his all, night in and night out. You know, he had a lot to deal with outside of the court, too. And I feel like the way he came prepared, ready for the game each uh, each night was, you know, it's a true testament to his will, his will to win, his will, to, his love of the game. Sorry to bring up a sore subject, but what was just your memories of watching the 0-1 finals? 
man, that hurt. That hurt. Um, I just wanted him to win, man. You know, he, I, I felt like he deserved it. And, you know, for him to take that that team, um, you know, as far as they did, uh, it's it's so impressive. And I I don't know if people give him enough credit, you know, as much as he deserves. But you know, I really have a mind for the game. Obviously, I've been around him my whole life, so I think I notice a few things everybody else may not. What do you think's overlooked with him? You're not giving, um, he's not giving enough credit. You know, I think just his leadership, you know, people always talk about, you know, he had such problems and his attitude problems. But I think, you know, to take a team like like they had, you know, just a gritty, grimy, kind of, you know, dirty team with, you know, guys that may not have the most talent, um, but be able to lead them and play, you know, the Lakers and, and battle as, as hard as they did, you know, that's, that's tough. Um, and I mean, you know, you have to give your respects where they do.